Hey, what's going on guys? LLP here and welcome back to another episode of Land of Basilia. It's been a while. Sorry about the wait for a Land of Basilia. I've just been really busy in the gold guilds and the and the funny orange apple video I put out yesterday has been enough to fill it because school was pretty busy this week. Today we're going to be starting a new project as you can see behind me. You see that little hole in the mountain? Well, we're going to be turning that into a bit of a little base today, so that's very exciting. Let's head over here. And basically what we're going to do today is we're going to lay out the foundations for the base. Now I'm going to work on it a little bit off camera, and then the next episode we'll begin furnishing it. Now I have not told you what this base is going to be for yet, and I'm not going to tell you guys in this episode. Let's just say that it's going to be something... How should I put this? That way I don't give anything away. It's basically... And just eat this bread. A lot of that uh, wheat should be growing, because I was AFK in there for like 20 minutes a few minutes ago, because I had to do a few things IRL. But, yeah, so basically, this base is going to be for the Rabbit Republic, so you can be assured of that. Also, the base is going to be used quite a bit. I don't know if we're going to use it as... It's not a storage base. I should probably just point that out right now. It is not a bunker, per se. It's not like a place where we would hold up in a war or something. That is not what this is going to be. That, but the bunker is something that we are going to be building eventually, so that's another project we have, but that's going to be like an underground thing. Basically, I want to give a hint. So, if you guys know, in war, a lot of nations will have meeting places, places where the nation's big uh, government figures and army figures and representatives and things will meet to discuss plans and such. So if you think about that, and then relate that to Minecraft and the Rabbit Republic, and you've got basically a good idea of, or you might have a good theory as to what this is going to be. We're running out of dirt. I really just want to make this look nice. Ooh, no, we don't want you there. So we just want to fill this in here. There we go. And then let's fill this in one more, and then we can take this down. But we also have a bit of a topic to talk about in today's video. Basically, if you guys do not, if you guys are, only watch like gaming channels you don't watch news channels or anything like that or you're not active on twitter or you only just play minecraft you might not know but the wall street journal published a study basically saying that apparently microsoft is in talks with mojang microsoft is in serious conversation to buy mojang which is the company that makes minecraft for over two billion dollars. Now, two billion dollars is a lot of money. Now, I have mixed opinions on this. Basically, because it's not, it's not, it, if Microsoft does it right, this could be an incredible thing for Mojang and for Minecraft. If Microsoft does it wrong and does what Microsoft usually does with their stuff, it could, and I hate to say this, it could potentially destroy Minecraft as we know it. It could do that. But I don't think, well, I think I've got a lot to worry about because I run a YouTube channel so-and-so and this could really affect me. Don't worry. I doubt, apparently they're in serious talks this week, but I don't think Microsoft is going to mess it up. The, the easy thing to realize is Minecraft is a game that pulls in a lot of money. It makes a lot of money. Uh, I think Mojang's sales report last year was like over $100,000, which is really good. Just for Minecraft alone, I believe. So that is very impressive that one single game can pull in that much money year after year. And the amount, the amount grew. The year before that, they pulled in less than 100000 I don't know what the exact figure was, but they pulled in less. Which means, that's needless to say, Minecraft is still growing at a massive rate and it's becoming probably one of the biggest cultural phenomenons in history with movies a movie possibly being made to being imported onto an oculus rift xbox one playstation 4 possibly a wii and a wii u all this amazing stuff could be happening in the very near future and it's just a very prosperous time for minecraft and for mojang as a company to think that not and the thing is the rumor is that notch actually approached no i don't want that there the rumor is that notch actually approached microsoft to sell Mojang, as you know, uh, Notch, Marcus Notch Pearson, is the creator of Minecraft. He's also the CEO of Mojang, which is the company that makes Minecraft, that made Minecraft, also makes Cobalt and Scrolls. Um, I've <coughs> Sorry, i got to get a drink of water. Hang on. He also made 
Their other two games, Cobalt and Scrolls. I've not played Cobalt, but I did get Scrolls, and honestly, I prefer Scrolls over Hearthstone. Uh, both of them are strategy card games online, and I prefer Scrolls over Hearthstone. I feel like the Scrolls community is much, much more... It's like a Minecraft server, really, like a small Minecraft server. It's a very good community. And so the fact that Notch would come to... And if you guys follow Notch on Twitter you would know that he really does hate big business and big corporations and things like that. He's talked about it a lot recently, and I don't know... What is my render distance at? Good lord. No! Oh, no, we went in language. Oh, that fixed it. If I turn this down and I turn this off and this on, what does it do? Oh, that increases frames. Okay. Uh, let's... Oh, no, it does not... That's not good. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. V-Sync needs to go off. That, like, freaking doubles my frames. Let's head inside and let's sleep off the night. So, it's weird that Notch would approach Microsoft. As you guys know, Micro uh, Minecraft is on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One and all that stuff. And there's... It's it's a big thing on Xbox. But, I don't get it, really. I don't... If I had to pick what would happen, like if I was allowed to choose if my Mojang would be bought... <gasps> hi, 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 hi. If I, if I was able to be given the decision to decide if Microsoft was to buy Mojang, I'd say no. Because I'd like to keep Microsoft and I'd like to keep Mojang as an indie company because I feel like that's where they prosper. But the other thing is that apparently once the acquisition is given and Notch helps Minecraft and Mojang kind of acclim acclimate to acclimate to Microsoft, Notch is apparently going to be stepping down as CEO of Mojang. So. I guess his position of hating big business still stands since he would be basically quitting his job and he's like one of the he's like one of the most inexpensive he's one of the richest people in Sweden so he doesn't really need to work much anymore in his life but it's amazing and it's kind of just if Microsoft does it right then it could be an incredible thing for Minecraft there could be so many amazing things that could come out of this but if Mojang does it if Minecraft Microsoft and Mojang do it wrong it could kill the entire community and with it kill all the YouTubers that make videos and are able to make a living off of YouTube. So it's it's a very two faced issue. Did I put that stuff away? No, I did not. Good. It's a very two faced issue that okay, so I wanted to I wanted to for the people that actually watch all my my full my videos fully, I wanted to voice a question to you guys. I've always loved talking. You guys must know from watching my videos that I love to talk about anything that comes to my mind. I love to talk about my opinion. I would like to start a series where basically you'll get images and things, sort of like a news series, sort of like what I do if you watch my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, sort of like that, just for like, just me discussing things. Link, let's talk with Link, or something like that. Let's talk with Linky, or something something along those lines. I would, I want to start one of those kind of series where I basically, there'll be pictures and things splashing on the screen, maybe I'll share videos and stuff, and I'll just talk about my opinions on certain topics. For instance, Apple just announced the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, as well as the iWatch. You literally, if you follow me on Twitter, again, follow me on Twitter if you don't, because literally everything happens on Twitter. Um, I am so excited for the iWatch, you have no idea. The iWatch is like the next device I want to get. Basically, I use everything Apple right now. I'm currently using a P my laptop, because, don't ask, but I have my Mac that I... I, like, every other week I'll be recording on a PC and a Mac, so I gotta get used to both systems, but, I don't know, we'll see. So how deep do we want to make this? I think we want to make this up to here, and then we need to just build this up, like, so, so I can go there, there, and there, and let's big dig you out. I want to put a nice window here, I think it'll look really cool, and then we can bring you up, let's just mesh the dirt in with the build, like so. And we can build it up this way, and then we can go... Oh, we're going to have to meet with the wall. Okay, let's see how we can do this. So if we block you up, if we bring you up, and then you up, and then you up, we can bring the wall in with the side of the roof. Nice. Let's just build you over. We should be running out of cobblestone now. There we go. So that's basically all we're going to get in this episode for the building. I think I think it's off to a great start. We're also going to bring sections off into there, and that way. So yeah. Uh, if you want to see a Lynx Talks series or anything like that, and it could be it could be about Minecraft, it could be about the YouTube community, it could be about technology, it could be about world, world, what's it called? I'm forgetting the word. World news, really, anything. Just tell me if you want it. Leave a like, or leave a comment, or tweet me. Follow me on Twitter, at LinkedIn.LP. As always, I've been LP. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.